Good morning, everyone. In today's class, we will try to understand another important literary term. The term is catharsis. Okay, this term was actually used by Aristotle in his work Poetics. Okay, the the Poetics is a work where he discussed everything related to uh, tragedy what is the definition of tragedy what are the characteristics of tragedy what are the elements of tragedy what are the components of tragedy and what are the effects of tragedy everything was discussed okay among that particular elements catharsis was also one of them this is why you just remember that catharsis is important for examinations okay so let us start what catharsis is what is the etymology of catharsis and what are the examples of catharsis and how catharsis is useful while enjoying a tragedy okay so let us start the class catharsis is a term which was used by Aristotle in his Poetics, as I have already told you. Okay, to describe effects of true tragedy on the spectator. Catharsis is not an element of tragedy. It is the effect of a true tragedy on the spectator. Try to remember that. It is derived from the word catharsis or catharine which is a Greek term, which means purgation or purification or cleansing. This is also an information which is important for examinations. Try to remember that as well. What is the meaning of catharsis then? The literal meaning of catharsis is or are purgation, purification or cleansing. So what kind of purification or cleansing we will come to know while discussing the definition or dictionary meaning of catharsis. So the dictionary meaning of catharsis is the process of releasing and thereby providing relief from strong or sorry repressed emotions. Catharsis is a process of releasing and uh, thereby providing relief from strong or repressed emotions. That is, while enjoying a kind of tragedy, if the reader or the audience or the spectator okay, gets relief from his, from his strong or repressed emotions through the outburst of the emotions with the help of uh, a kind of cry or a kind of screaming or a kind of any kind of gestures, bodily gestures or emotional outburst is known as catharsis. For example, if you were enjoying a kind of drama which is extremely tragedy or tragic and the hero is undergoing a kind of tragic uh, situation, then you will you will be able to connect with that particular situation and you will definitely cry out of pity or fear okay such kind of relief of the emotions relief from the emotion with the help of cry or screaming is known as catharsis okay especially in catharsis the emotions that are pity or fear are being released okay so cleansing or purification of extreme emotion of pity and fear with the help of cry or screaming is known as catharsis i think you have understood what catharsis is catharsis this is why is the outcome of tragedy is the effect of tragedy not the element of tragedy so actually catharsis helps the spectator to achieve a state of liberation that is 
with the with the help of emotional discharge the audience or the spectator gets a kind of relief or a kind of liberation from anxiety and stress okay so it has some positive points it has it has some uh, helpful effects on the audience or the spectator so there there may be three kinds of uh, audience or spectator which uh, are who gets benefited through such kind of catharsis number 1 the audience or spectator shall be able to handle such kind of tragic or other kind of such situation if he or she faces in his own life near future that is those who have never never um uh, never come across such kind of situations in his life or her life he will be able to handle such kind of situations in near future as he have already seen as he has already seen that such kind of uh, situation may also occur in the life of human beings so <clears throat> with the help of such kind of uh, inclusion of these things inclusion of catharsis the audience or the spectator becomes stronger okay second type of audience or spectator if such did such incidents happened to his or her life before or happening at that particular moment it will be easier to forget and move forward in his life because he will then feel she will then feel that i am not the only person who is facing such kind of situations almost all the people have the same problem okay this is why the life should be moved forward we should not stop our life okay with the help of catharsis with the help of emotional outburst with the help of emotional discharge he gets a kind of relief from the anxiety and stress and gets prepared for confronting with the life that he is undergoing or he is facing okay so number number 3 there is a third kind of uh, spectators the spectator may think that he or she is thankful that such things are not happening to him or her that is those who have never experienced such kind of situations in life and think that he will never uh, never face such kind of situations in his life in near future as well he or she will think that such things happen only in drama only in art only in cinema or movie these things does not exist or do not exist in the real life he will uh, get a kind of relief that this is actually a drama not the real life so with the help of catharsis with the help of the emotional discharge they gets purified and gets ready for their own life to confront with their own life okay i think you have understood what are the positive effects of catharsis on the minds and the bodies of the human beings or the spectators of the drama or the tragedy so coming to some examples from literature i'll give you some names of or titles of uh, tragedies written by shakespeare you will go through that okay i am not giving you the details of all the dramas here the number one is macbeth this is a tragedy the tragic hero or heroine uh, get involved into such kind of tragic situation that 
the audience or the spectator gets involved into that particular tragedy and cries or and or cry out of the out of pity and fear king lear here also we can see that king that the king lear is undergoing a kind of uh, tragic situations so we feel pity for him and we cry and we feel extremely connected with emotional connection have an emotional connection with that particular person that is king lear and uh, uh, a kind of uh, uh, bonding we develop during the enjoyment of the drama okay and we purify our emotions while enjoying it hamlet is also another important tragedy where we can feel the same romeo and juliet also one of the important tragedies written by shakespeare uses go through the the stories of these particular uh, tragedies written by shakespeare and you will get to know how the catharsis may occur okay while enjoying such kind of tragedies i think you have understood what catharsis is what is the meaning of catharsis where catharsis the term was used for the first time and by whom okay and what are the emotions that are related to catharsis and uh, what are the examples and what are the benefits of catharsis benefits of happening or uh, benefits of uh, creation of catharsis or emotional distress all these things we came to know through this class okay during uh, such type of 14 minutes 15 minutes or 10 minutes class we cannot complete all the things we cannot cover all the things some things will be there which you will have to study by yourself so ask excuse me for that as i could not give you all the things here okay so thank you for today have a nice day